Hi friends. Welcome. Today is Wednesday, July 15, 2020. Again, today is Wednesday, July 15, 2020. Woohoo! We are two days away. Again, we are two days away from our summer program ending. Thank you for keep for continuing to watch our videos. Thank you for learning with us. Thank you for continuing to study. And just thank you for being here, friends. I truly, truly appreciate you. All right, so today's gonna be our last day with working on shapes. So yesterday we were working on 2D shapes, right? We were working on 2D shapes, and I'm actually going to show you, I'm gonna quickly go over those shapes again so you can see them. Okay, so let me go ahead and start sharing my screen so you can see those shapes. All right, so yesterday we were going, yesterday and Monday, Tuesday and Monday, we were going over our shapes. We learned a few shapes. Let's go over them. So we have a circle, right? Circle is just a round figure. We said that you can probably see this in O's when you spell names, when you use the letter O in the alphabet. You see a circle, an oval, an oval is more like a zero, all right? So this would be a zero. Um, like when you write the year 2020, when you write 10, 20, and they have a zero, this is an oval. All right, and then we have a triangle. You have a triangle. You say pizza slices or triangle. You have a star. You have a star. Then you have a rectangle. A rectangle has four sides. You have a square that also has four sides, except squares have all equal sides. All other sides are equal. Okay, and then we have a rhombus, which people also call it a diamond, right? A rhombus, a diamond, this is the shape of a kite. So if you have a kite, then we have a trapezoid, right? Trapezoid has four, shape, four sides. Remember, the special thing about a trapezoid is that it has parallel lines. These lines will never touch. These are called parallel, parallel lines. Parallel because they never touch. They're called parallel. These two L's means they never touch. So this line, the top line and bottom line will never touch. I can keep going and going and going straight and they're never going to touch. Then we had a hexagon. Remember, hexagon has the word hexa right here. The word hexa means six. So hexagon has six sides, hexa, right? So these are these these shapes were our 2D shapes. 2D shapes. There were our 2D shapes. 2D means two dimensional. Two dimensional. So they're just a two dimensional shape. That means that they don't have extra stuff. It is just a flat, flat um, paper. So for example, this, this note card, it's a two dimensional shape. It's a, it's a rectangle. It's a two-dimensional uh, rectangle, right? It is flat versus this box right here, my marker box. This is also a rectangle, uh, this is a rectangular shape, right? But these have extra stuff. This is a three-dimensional. See, see how it's three-dimensional, it is thicker. So this right here, instead of it just being a called rect uh, rectangle, it will, be a, it will be called a rectangular prism, a rectangular prism, because it is a three-dimensional shape. If we just look at the top part, then yes, we can say the top part is just rectangle. It's just a rectangle, just like the snow card. But if we look at the whole thing, at this whole thing, the whole box, we will say this box is a 3D shape. It's a 3D shape. So it will be called a three-dimensional. And we call it three-dimensional or rectangular. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna work on our three-dimensional shapes, right? We're gonna work on our three-dimensional shapes. Uh, you get a charger, my computer's dying, but we'll all get that right now. So we're gonna work on our three-dimensional shapes. Go ahead and make sure you have your journal. Make sure you have your journal or paper. 
Something to write on, something to write with, please. All right, I'm gonna give you a few seconds for you to get that. I'm gonna get my charger right quick. All right, friends, we're gonna go ahead and begin. So just like when we were learning our two-dimensional shapes, two, some of our two-dimensional two shapes, we watched the video, right? I want us to watch a quick video, and then we'll go ahead and draw and name the shapes. Here we go. Um, friends, remember, remember, you can, you're free to feel, you're free to dance and sing along, okay? Feel free to sing and dance along. Okay. All right, friends, so those are some of our 3D shapes, okay? We're gonna go ahead and draw those out. Please make sure you have a your paper and pencil with you so we can go ahead and begin that. All right, so check how we're starting about different shapes, shapes that we didn't learn about yesterday or the day before. That's because these are 3D shapes. Again, these are three-dimensional shapes. These shapes are things that you can actually like um, pick up and like, there, there is not just a single sheet. It is not just one dimensional. Think about when you watch a movie on the TV, you're watching it two dimensional. But if you ever gone to the movie theaters and watched a three dimensional shape, uh, I mean three dimensional movie, 
they give you some glasses so when you wear those glasses you feel like the movie is coming out right when you see those images coming out those images are called three-dimensional those images are called three-dimensional they're called 3d and that way you that's why you can see them okay so let's go ahead and begin we're gonna go ahead and begin with the first shape okay I'm gonna start. I'm just gonna draw the picture. If you know what the image is, please, please say it aloud. Again, if you know what the image is, please, please say it aloud. Do we know what that is? Do we know what that is? Sounds like, it looks like a nice good cone, right? Yeah, so this is a cone, friends. C-O-N-E, cone. C-O-N-E, cone. Just like Jack Carmen said, uh, a cone, like think about an ice cream cone, right? Let's say this has ice cream on top. It has ice cream on top. Another one, right? So this could be considered an ice cream cone. Um, you can also see cones. You'll see cones like in a parking a parking lot. Um, whenever a parking spot is reserved or whenever you're not allowed to park there, you might see a cone. You might see a cone. It's orange and it has a little bit of white lines, right? Let us say cone. Okay. Our next picture. Let's do our next picture. Our next picture. Again, if you know it, please say it. You can say the shape. Sorry, this is actually not a very good, let me, let me try that again. This might be a better picture actually. Do we know what this is? So this is a cube. This is a cube, cube. Um, know that a cube has a face. This is a face, this is what we call the face, the very front part. It has a face of a square. So all of the, all of the faces are a square. This kind of looks more like a rectangular, so this is kind of wrong, but let's assume these uh, faces are squares, and if they are, they'll be considered a cube. Again, all of the faces, the top, the bottom, the side, 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 have to be a, a square in order for it to be a cube, okay? Think about ice cream cubes, right? Some of those perfect square cubes, those are, you can consider those ice cream cubes. Um, you also have the letter babies. Babies have little toys that have cubes that have letters. Those are considered cubes. Okay, so that is a cube. Let's do our next one. And again, friends, these are all cylinder. I mean, these are all 3D shapes, okay? These are all 3D shapes. Do you know what this is called? This is a cylinder. Good job, this is a cylinder. So friends, a cylinder is like a food can. If your mom has a can in her kitchen, a can, a food can, like what corn is, tuna, um, beans, tomato sauce, right? All of those are, called, are cans. Those have a shape of a cylinder, a cylinder. Those have a shape of a cylinder. Okay. Um, a cylinder has a top and bottom face, a top and bottom face, and the faces are a circle. So this is a circle and that's a circle. All right, next one, next image. This image, it's a little tricky to draw. This image is a little tricky to draw, but this is, let's see if you, if you know what this shape is. Remember, it is a 3D shape. 
It is a 3D shape, so don't, don't, uh, don't confuse that, okay? So this is supposed to be a sphere. I know drawing it is harder than like actually um, drawing, drawing a sphere is kind of hard. But this is supposed to be a sphere. Unlike a circle, a sphere is a 3D, is a 3D shape. Okay, so again, a circle, a circle is just a two dimensional shape. It is just this. Okay, a sphere is a three dimensional shape. So think about the world, think about Earth, think about a soccer ball, a baseball, a basketball, right? All of those are a three D shape. You can pick it up and it looks it's round. The moon is a sphere. This is a circle, it's just a two dimensional shape. All right, our last image, this is our last image. Um, this is also a little tricky to draw. Let's see if I can draw it out good. Here we go. Again, let's see if I can draw it out good, friends. Do you know what this is? I try that again. Do you know what that is? And last time, make it bigger this time. Kinda. So this is supposed to be a pyramid. These are like those pyramids that uh, John Jack Conroe was talking about, those old Egypt pyramids in the desert, right? All right, friends, so these are new shapes that you have to go over. Make sure you know how to draw a cone, a cube, a cylinder, a sphere. Again, I know sphere is kind of hard because it looks just like a circle. Um, and then there's a pyramid. So make sure you draw those down with the other shapes and just practice them over the summer. Thank you for joining me, friends. I'll see you and talk to you later. Bye-bye.